So in this video, let's look at renaming the sprite and making it move to the right and then to the left. Okay, so first of all, we need to change the name of the sprite, uh, in this case, the cat. So the default name is sprite one. Uh, it's in the first sprite. So let's change that by clicking in this area here and then highlighting that or just double clicking on it and then type in cat. Be sure to start with a capital C for cat. And that's it. Just click anywhere outside there, and you can see it's now called Cat. And you can see that down here as well. So the next part of our little coding exercise here is to make it move once this green flag is clicked. So let's have a look at making it move first of all. So if I bring this block, it's a motion block. So if I bring this motion block by left clicking and dragging, drop it into the script area or the coding area, it, it actually attaches this or makes the cat move when you double click the cat. Or sorry, double click the, the block. Okay. And then interestingly, if you put a minus in front of that and then put minus 10, like so, and then double click this block, it will move to the left. So let's bring another one across. So move 10 steps makes it move to the right and move minus 10 steps makes it move to the left so it's 10 steps to the left or 10 steps to the right okay so this added some automation here so this bring across when clicked okay so that means whenever i now i click the green arrow sorry the green flag uh, the cat will move 10 steps to the right and you can see that here but you have to click, uh, keep clicking the green flag to do that. Now, if I was to attach this here, what should happen is it will move 10 steps to the right and then 10 steps to the left very quickly. It might, it might even appear that it doesn't move at all. So to fix that, we're going to add in a weight block. Okay, so what this means is when the green flag is clicked, it will move 10 steps to the right, it'll wait for a second, and then move 10 steps to the left. So now let's test that by clicking the green flag. And you can see it goes 10 to the right and then 10 to the left. If you wanted to add in an extra bit or an extra piece of code or script that would repeat that, we just use the forever block. So what that does, anything inside the forever block is just repeated forever. So what I'll do, I'll attach that there like so. And you notice I moved that one out. So you can move that out first or you can leave it in. So let's move it out first to show you that way. Then bring this up, this forever block, and then move those three blocks in here like so. And then you can see they're all inside the forever block. It's also attached to the green flag. So let's now click the green flag to test that our code works. And it should just repeat that forever. Now you can see it's a little bit quick here, so that, that's a bug. Um, see if you can fix that. See which, it's actually all you need to do is reuse uh, one of these three pieces of code or scripts here. Okay, and then you just add that in so it doesn't have that little jerky motion at the end. And that's how we rename a sprite and then add some script or coding blocks to make it move left and right. Thanks for watching.